Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Many ask themselves, has God forgotten us? Is God punishing us? No my brothers, God does not punish. God does not punish. God is pure love always. Today's message is not about this wound that opened in your country. It is just to tell you, yes, it is suffering for those who remain, for those who have lost loved ones, there is a legion of angels around each one of those who suffer, waiting for help to be asked, to comfort their hearts, and then they take action. As I have said, nothing is out of step. Everything happens because it is on destinous path to happen. I will only tell you this, ask the angels for help to comfort your hearts, and be sure that everyone who was there, under this tragedy, is very well cared for and increasingly closer to divine hands. What I have to tell you today is once again, remind you of the vibrations, of feelings, of what you emanate. The moment approaches my brothers. Ah! Tomorrow I'll start to change my attitudes. Tomorrow may be too late. Fill your hearts with peace, solidarity, humility, love and light. This is what needs to be done, nothing more. Stop wanting to judge others. You continue creating courts, judging and sentencing, and often not even the person being judged knows. How absurd! Who are you to judge others? Even those who have the role of judge in their world, yes, they have to follow the laws, but they also often exceed their powers. I'm not saying that anyone who does something wrong doesn't have to pay. Yes, everyone reaps what they sow. In the eyes of men there are laws, and if they exist, they are to be fulfilled, it would just be good if the laws were enforced equally. That everyone had the same treatment. That money would not change the sentences. That everyone would have the same punishments, in inverted commas. Yes, that would be beautiful in the eyes of God, because if the rich and the poor make the same mistake, they both have to go through the same punishment, again in quotation marks. Unfortunately, this is not what happens, because those who have power find loopholes and ways to free themselves from guilt, and those who don't, poor things, end up paying for those who do. This is what cannot happen. The laws are the same for everyone. You created a symbol of justice, with a blindfold over the eyes, so that it would not be seen to whom justice was being served, but that has changed, the blindfold is to not see the nonsense that is done, inequalities, the arbitrary actions, which are made for those who have no voice. This my brothers, the vast majority of you know, it is not just in your country, it is in almost the entire world, the entire planet. Those who hold power, who have financial means, rarely pay for their crimes. One case or another may even happen, but the vast majority do not. The only thing I tell you, my brothers, is that we are talking about the righteousness of men. Now let's talk about God's justice. No. I'm not talking about God's punishment, because God doesn't punish, and God doesn't judge either. The only thing that God sees is each person's energy, and through energy, God knows the path that each one chose to follow. So, those who follow the path of good, the path of love, peace, solidarity, harmony, have all the privileges that a good person has. Those who did not know how to follow this path will follow other paths, because they will have to show that they want to regret what they have already done. No, no, I don't regret anything. What I did, I did and will continue to do. Angry. The choice has been made. The choice to go to Mundo Novo is vetoed. You will not go. Follow your path of duality, of evil, of bad feelings. It's your choice. Follow, but not here on planet Earth. You will follow this elsewhere, for here in the new world there will only be those with a pure heart, or those who are truly repentant, they understand all the harm they have already caused and want to change. 
these will have a chance to prove that they have really changed. Therefore, my brothers, it is not judgment, it is choice, and it is not God's choice. It's everyone's choice. God does not force anyone to choose anything. God shows a path, but for that path a level of energy is needed, whoever has it, follows it, whoever doesn't have it, doesn't follow it. That simple. So, my brothers, do not worry when the justice of men is unjust, because to the new world, those who do not have love in their hearts will not go. Once and for all Gaia will free herself from these people, that she only thinks about herself, that she only thinks about subduing others, in doing evil, in exercising her power. So we respect that desire, but she will exercise that power elsewhere, not here, therefore, here will be the planet of unconditional love, one where only those who truly love themselves and others will be able to follow the path to the new world. I am Archangel Michael. I know exactly what each of you represents on this planet.